Hi, thanks for watching my video today. Today I'm going to be showing you SimpleSoccer.net, which is a top down simulation of a soccer game. As you can see, it's very simple, hence the name SimpleSoccer.net. The purpose of the simulation is to demonstrate a principle known as emergent behavior or emergence. Emergence is the way that complex systems and patterns will arise out of multiple and relatively simple interactions in a system. Basically, the sum of the parts of the individual agents will result in a complex behavioral pattern. In this case, the agents use a simple set of rules to determine behaviors. These rules include distance from the ball, distance to an attacker, distance to the goal, and among other things, the calculated score of a shot, or a potential shot, which is a heuristic used to determine the best and potential shot for a player to make on goal or a pass. As you can see, by following these simple rules, there seems to be an intelligence to the agents on the field, when in reality they're just following simple rules such as being too close to an attacker or too far to an attacker and moving into place to uh, produce a, uh, a sum of forces. In this case we have some debug aids to help you understand what's going on. Support spots. These are calculated in real time to determine the best spot for a player to go to for a pass. This spot is calculated based on attackers, distance to goal, and if there are any intervening players in between that particular point. Show targets. Show targets will show you the place where the ball is going to be attacked or, or positioned next. In the case of an attacker, it may be where the ball is going to be past or where the ball is actually going to be shot. And when the ball actually doesn't have an owner, it will it will also be a target for the other agents on the field. Highlight if threatened will highlight the player if threatened if it detects that it is being threatened by another player. Again, this is one of those simple rules that are used to determine the actions and behaviors of the agents on the field. Regions actually just show you regions on the field which are calculated by the engine which help break up the field into usable quadrants. Finally we'll look at show ID, I'm sorry, show states. States are the actual state that that particular agent is in. This is part of the AI system. It is a state-driven system, so the agents, well, it's partially a state-driven system, I'm sorry. So the agents will, will actually change state based on the input from the behaviors. That's it for SimpleSoccer.net. I'd like to thank Matt Buckland at AIJunkie.com, who wrote the original soccer simulation in C++. I took that code and converted it to C Sharp and made it run in the .NET environment. I also made a few other changes to the code base along the way to provide a little bit more robustness in the agents. Again, thank you Matt Buckland and thank you for watching this video.